very different bedtime story tonight. Yes. Okay, well you can relax. Tonight we're going to read The Loudest Roar by Thomas Till. And here's a little tortoise wandering down, trying to get to the grass, I think. Okay. The jungle was a peaceful place. Everyone was quiet and everyone was calm. Well, nearly everyone. You can see all the animals playing in the water. The elephants and the zebras, the wildebeest and flamingos and the parrots and monkeys. You can see them all. Clovis was a tiger. Even though he was only small, he knew he was the fiercest, most roaringest tiger in the whole world. And there's Clovis then. And Clovis thought that everyone else should know it too. One day he saw some parrots chattering politely as they picked their juicy fruit. There they are down there, in the cross here. And here's Clovis. What do you think he's going to do? Uh oh. Roar! Suddenly, there was Clovis. He found some muddy wildebeest wallowing happily in the slimy swamp. They didn't see the roaringest tiger in the whole world. Can you see Clovis? Can you see him? There he is. Uh oh, what do you think he's going to do? Do you think he's going to do that? Roar! Uh oh, Clovis has made them all jump and fall into the water. And there's some fish that's even jumped out of there too. They've caused a big splash and everything else flew out of the water. Then suddenly there was Clovis. Naughty Clovis. The mighty elephants were sunning themselves peacefully at the edge of the jungle. There they are. Oh, with their eyes tightly closed so they don't get sun in their eyes. Birds are here and here. <gasps> Can you see Clovis? There he is. What do you think he's going to do? <laughs> I think so too. <gasps> Roar! <gasps> Suddenly, there was Clovis. Here he is. He's jumped out of the bushes and scared all the elephants away. And now they're all stompeding off into the jungle. And even the poor parrots have got scared too. Oh yes, said Clovis proudly. I've got the loudest roar in all the jungle. The animals began to complain. Why should he spoil our peace? Squawked the angry parrot. But what could they do? Then... A monkey, who was very clever, had an idea. Here he is down here, and he's telling all the animals about his idea. What do you think that idea is going to be? Oh, let's see. Clovis didn't notice the others creeping up on him. Then suddenly, <gasps> what do you think they're going to do? All these noises. Squawk, ooh, 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 trumpet. Uh, squawk, snap, snap, ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> and poor Clovis has jumped out of his skin. <laughs> All of these animals have scared him. <gasps> Naughty animals. Clovis was very surprised. 
It was the loudest roar he had ever heard. He's there in the tree. He's got so scared he's climbed up it. The little monkey looked up at the fiercest, most roaringest tiger in the whole world. If he promised not to roar at us, he said, then we promise not to roar at you. Clovis said he would try. So there he is. Do you think he's going to stop roaring? Let's see. The jungle was a peaceful place. Everyone was quiet. Everyone was calm. And Clovis was very well behaved. Mm. <laughs> Most of the time. <sighs> the end. Do you think Clovis is scared that little turtle? Okay, my little turtle. Did you like that story? Good. Well, you have to go to sleep now. But maybe another night I can read you another story. Okay? Okay. Sweet dreams.